Hey guys, Jack of All Trades here. Finally, I know it's been quite a few months since I posted a video. I do apologize for that. Um, I've had some uh, stuff going on where I haven't posted in a while. So, again, deepest apologies. Right now, I'm actually working on a new project. First of all, before I get into that, I want to say... Uh, it's been a while, but I hope you all had a very good Christmas and a very good New Year in uh, 2023. So, yes, um, myself, I have been busy with uh, projects around the house. Um, my mother and I are actually um, recovering our kitchen chairs. The foam on them is like ancient. The chairs are like over 20 years old. So after a while that foam that is nice and springy goes. It flattens out. So we've been recovering them and replacing. I had to replace two of the seats because it was that MDF board. And we all know it does not hold up too well. Hence which is also why I am redoing one of my uh, garage stools right now. The board on it, I have it tore apart. I got the, uh, the material and the padding off already. It's inside, ready to go. But I'm also redoing the seat because it is the old MDF board and it has seen better days. I got staples that wouldn't come out. Plus, this seat is old itself. So, just to give it a new, refreshed look and stuff like that. So... I've already went ahead and I've cut the three quarter inch plywood to make the seat. It is. Oh. Hang on, let me flip you around. It is right here. The three quarter inch plywood. I just cut that off on the table saw. I didn't want to fight with the jigsaw because it was a big piece and my shoulders are not doing too good right now. So I didn't want that added uh, jolt. So I'll just use the table saw. So this is what I'm going to be cutting out today. I'm going to be sanding it, smoothing it out. So we are actually going to cut that out right now on the scroll saw. As I said, I don't want to fight with my jigsaw. <laughs> oh, so that means I got to dig it out from underneath there. Yeah, yeah. There's the stool right here that I'm going to be redoing. I should actually. Sand that off a little bit. Looks like there was some adhesive or something that was on there. I don't know. It is a new to me stool, so I did not buy it new. It's old. So, yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing. Refreshing. Cutting a new seat for it. And you are all getting taken along for the ride. And excuse my hair. It does not want to cooperate with me today. So, I'm just saying screw it. So I'm going to get you all hooked up in the um, makeshift phone holder, which I also use for my, sorry, music system, an old MP3, oldie but goldie, they work. So without further ado, I would use that, but it, it won't go down far enough. So I'm going to go up higher. So without further, further, yeah, without further, further ado, let's get started. Okay, so hopefully my phone does not fall out of that. And we will see how well this goes. I know I got a shockproof case, but you know what? Sometimes they don't work, especially on cement floors. Oh, so, let's get going. I got it partially started to about to here from here. So normally you would wear like safety glasses or ear protection with this. Myself, I don't. So please don't follow my um way of doing this. Yeah, so let's just say don't follow me on doing this. Alright, well without further ado, let's go. It might get a bit loud. I start off on a low setting.
there we have it. There's that. There's the new stool seat. So. Now we have that. Now, I'm going to work on sanding this and smoothing out the edges. And I will actually do that on the uh, belt sander. I had to think of it for a second there. <laughs> so, we're going to do that. And I'll be right back with you in a second. Okay, I'm back. What I'm going to do right now, before I actually go and sand it... I want to put, sorry, I'm trying to move that and do that at the same time. I'm going to put air holes in this piece of wood just to give the foam some breathing room. Our kitchen chairs, the original ones, hang on, let me grab that template. Our kitchen chairs, this is the old MDF part from our kitchen chairs, have these holes in them to allow the foam to breathe when you sit on it so it doesn't have moisture condensation or anything else in there it's just to allow it room to breathe so I'm going to do the same thing on my chair. so what we're going to do we're going to do this I'm going to try and get it situated properly so I don't hit the where the screw holes are supposed to go We'll go there and get this. See if this. Ooh. Okay. We're good. I had some issues with this drill. I accidentally knocked it off some, and the top of it landed in a bucket of bleach water. How it is still working is beyond me. I let it dry out and then put some uh, three in one oil in this and just let it sit and sit and sit. So, hopefully, it'll still be good. If it starts smoking, I will immediately take the battery out and probably toss it. But, <laughs> okay, I'm just going to mark these holes. Just a little bit. We'll see if the drill holds out. We're leaning up against the new coffee container, but it works. Okay, so far so good. Hopefully that works. Hey, it didn't freaking go. Awesome. There we go. Now there's a template for that. Okay, so we got our holes pre-drilled. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the phone over here. I wish I could get this to freaking go. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> Trying to get a situation where I don't hit any buttons on this. Keep it pointed down. Eh, that'll work. I gotta rig up a different system. I really do. Okay. Let's try this out. Actually, scratch that. We're gonna do something else. Bear with me. Be back in a second. <laughs> I decided to actually be smart about it. I'm going to use the drill press instead of the drill. And since I don't have a tripod that will keep my phone straight up and down, I'm going to resort to using Old Faithful. I've used it before, never broken a phone because it has rubber on it, but that's my phone stand. It's adjustable and I love it. So, hey, there we go. It works. Perfect. So, yes, that is what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to get you guys set up near the 
Oops. I accidentally hit the pause button. Sorry, guys. So I will get you guys set up near the drill press. And we will go from there. Okay. Be back in a sec. Alright. So I got you guys set up. I'm using my Mastercraft um, drill press. I just got to tighten the base here enough for right now. Because I got to get... bit in place. Okay. Make sure this is on even, but it helps to plug it in first. plug here. Excuse my squash for a second here. There we go. Now. All right. Now she's good. So, I'm going to lower that table down just a little bit more. Yeah, piece here. Table so it's directly there. So when I bring it down, it'll go through and not through my table. Oh, I'm gonna go through my table. It'll just bust a bit. Okay. So here we go. Let me mark it first. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> machine off hopefully it falls out like it's done that before like it just did unfortunately i've had it where i have to take all the piece back and forth off a bit i got lucky with that one probably won't again so and turn it back on and can terry can, can terry i can't spoke today guys continue on <laughs> oh my gosh i need coffee i got a coffee out here somewhere i just don't know where i put it So that's why I'm going to mark it for a
always like to make sure that thing stops spinning before I do anything. All right, there. Pilot holes are drilled. Now, shut this light off because I've forgotten it more than once. All right. There we go. Yeah, that's all done. I... These keys, I tried actually using my uh, drill press vise to drill a hole through this to hang it. But yeah, that didn't go over so well. So, what I do is, I'm going to tilt you up just a little bit here, if I can. I put the key inside where the belt goes. Let's see if I can do this. I just put the key right in there. It does not, even if it's on, it does not get in the way. You just close it up. That way you don't lose it, which I'm prone to doing. I, I could lose my head if it wasn't attached. So, okay, so that is done. Now I'm going to go get my um, knees belt sander and sand this out. If I can, I will try to speed up this part. I'm not really good with my video editing software yet. So I'm still trying to figure out how to do it. I'm using Splice on my phone for video editing. So but I'm actually liking that uh, vice better. Holds everything better. Okay, perfect. <laughs> um, I haven't had too much coffee yet, so forgive me. I'm a little weird right now. Uno momento. I gotta find my coffee. Alright, guys, we are back. And I found my coffee. <laughs> Turns out it was in my room. But then... I had to go make more coffee because there was hardly any in it. And you know, no production gets done without coffee. <laughs> okay. Mm. That's good. Okay, so getting back to what we're supposed to be doing, I am actually going to work smart. Because I know it's extra protein, but I do not want... Sawdust, my coffee. Okay. Now that my coffee's protected, I want these sleeves up. Since I don't want anything. Yeah, my shirt. Yeah. I see my pajamas on the camera, so I actually went and got dressed. Thank God. Oh, so, I feel better. I feel human. Okay. All right. So, uh, this might get loud. I'll see if I can actually put music on during that part. Forgive me if I don't. I'm still learning. Okay. So, here we go. <laughs>
as I'm doing this, I really, really, as I put in the text before, I should have just got my router out and used it. Because as you can see in the video, it flies out of my hands. The butt sander is moving around all over the place. So it wasn't the very best idea. But I was lazy and I did not want to get out my router. And laziness equals mistakes, as you can see. Um, this is awkward. Right now, I'm actually just trying to round out those markings from the scroll saw and to round it out better. And there, I'm trying to get it to stay. It, it, it does stay, but the piece so, sort of wants to work. And then, yeah, that piece was just getting in the way. It was moving all the time. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, so that's why I say, do not attempt this at home. I myself was very stupid for doing it. So. Okay. Oh, gotta do some on the back side. Yeah, I'm... Oh, I haven't even... I haven't even belted in that other side yet. I'm just working on the corners. Alright. <sighs> cool. Yeah. <clears throat> see, not my brightest idea. I mean, I have done that method with a bigger piece when I was making a game board. So, yeah, that side is done. Then I'm going to flip it, and then I'm going to use a belt sander and belt sand that piece off. Well, not piece off, but sand it and smooth it out. So, Oh, yeah, I use a clamp to secure it so it doesn't run around so I don't get my fingers caught in belts in it, which I have done. So, let's see what I'm doing. might get some feedback as to why I was going side to side with the sander. Myself, I do that as long as I'm sanding the same way as the grain. Whenever sanding, always saw it, always sand with the grain, otherwise it'll make your project look like absolute garbage. If you go to paint or stain it, you will see it and it'll drive you nuts. That's why I do that. If I do get imperfections, I can go back over it with a lighter or a um, smoother grit um, of sandpaper, like other than just using the belt sander. I can go back over it and smooth it out. Any imperfections I see, I can work out. But since it's just a stool, I'm not really that worried about it. And hey, look, it snapped one of my nails off. Oh, well. I do not really care if I chip a nail. I am not one of the ones to actually care. The type of work I do. Do you really think I have time for a manicure? I'd have it wasted in about two seconds. And that's pushing it. So. Break a nail? Don't care. Okay, moving on. Just this last part. And then I'll see if I can round off the edges while doing that. Also, with that little trick I was doing with this handheld belt sander, I, as I said, I don't know if I, my mic's caught it. I don't recommend doing that at all. It's technically not safe. And you can have the project fly across the room. As you've seen, it got away from me quite a few times. 
Um, I did that once when I was making a marble game board. I could actually have it spinning in my hand. As you've seen, I had it somewhat spinning, but it didn't go uh, completely right. Um, so yeah, but we'll finish this up and then I will smooth out the edges that way you don't get caught on them with the belt sander. So we'll get this done in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so we got that done. Now I'm going to take and I will. Nah, I'm not going to play with the router today. Okay, maybe on another project I will. I'm going to take this and I'm going to round off the edges now. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I got that all rounded off. The edges are nice and smooth. Right now, what I'm going to do is because I have some frayed. I have a piece here of 400 grit sandpaper. Very fine. What I'm going to do is just take this by hand and go around with this to smoothen everything out. That way... It'll be nice and smooth for when we put everything else on. That side's done. Now, some people might do this different. You know, everyone has their own tips and tricks for how to do it. I do it my way. It might not be the right way, but hey, it works for me. And it still gets the same thing accomplished. And before I hit that trigger, I'm going to do that. And unplug that. <laughs> I've gotten my fingers caught down about Santa before. It's not fun. It tickles a little bit. That's done. Maybe this. Take a rasp. 
And of course, you got pieces that like chip off. That's done. Now, that's going to go for that. And when I'm done, I want to see if this lines up when I, where I don't have to mess with the screws too much. Now, make sure that that's even on both sides. Perfect. That'll match up. And it won't, not in the way of my screws. We're good. So when it's all done, it'll be perfect. Perfect. Well, that's awesome. Oh. <clears throat> if you followed me to this part, thank you very much. If you're new to the channel and just seeing this for the first time, welcome. Um, my name's Marissa, and the title of my YouTube, obviously, is Jack of All Trades. The reason I chose that is because I consider myself a Jack of All Trades, Master of None. Because, you know how the saying goes, Jack of All Trades, Master of None, but better than being Master of One. So... Jack of all trades, but not a master of any of them. So, yeah, I fiddle around with a bunch of stuff. Like, I, I've done the woodworking, construction, roofing, uh, plumbing, some electrical. And actually, the main bits of electrical that I've done is I've actually electrocuted myself quite a few times. Um... But, you know, you live and learn. Unlike me, you got to do it about three or four times before you learn. <laughs> but, yes. So, as I was saying, I'm rambling on. We all know that. As I said, if you're new, as I said, new to the channel, welcome. If you're subscribed to the channel, thank you. If you like this video, thank you very much. But you can also like share with your friends if you found this uh really nice subscribe and if you want to see more videos like this leave a comment down below in the comment section i enjoy hearing your input any criticism i accept it all so yeah so until next time guys i wish you all a good day and Take care of yourself. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye.